Algiani. I rise to adjourn in the memory of Patty Padmore. Many of us have grown very fond of her because we've known her through her role with CCPOA. She was chapter president of OH Close Youth Facility in Stockton for 15 years. Um, Patty has a heart of gold, and she always encouraged the best in everyone. I was at the CCPOA conference last Wednesday evening, and you know those guys are always trying to remind us about how they work the toughest beat in the state. And so at the beginning of the dinner, you had Lance Corcoran on stage, and some of his colleagues were, were hitting him with a stun gun until he fell on the floor in pain. But of course, he'd get up and do it again to show us how tough he was. But as the, the evening progressed and it came time for the program, there was not a dry eye in the place because as soon as these same tough guys stood up to talk about the person that they loved dearly for all these years, Patty Padmore, it took everything that they had not to be choked up with tears. So I know she was very well loved and respected by all of her colleagues, and I ask that we adjourn in, in her memory today. Thank you. Mr. LaMalfa, I lost my pass. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I, too, rise in memory of Patty Padmore, a, a very dear friend, one that uh, you, just seeing her, you smile, and uh, the, the time spent with her was, was always rewarding, and um, just, just, she was just a joy to be around, and I know she was very passionate about her job, about serving the youth and her colleagues and making sure things went well in, in her industry. Um, one, uh, one just funny thing I always uh, think of is that uh, first time I met her, she had a really neat ringtone that she then sent to me later. So whenever I hear Walk This Way by Aerosmith, I'll always think of Patty. But uh, we will miss her. She was a gem. And uh, just God bless her and her family and her, uh, all her colleagues that are going to miss her too. Mr. Agazarian. Thank you. I, I too rise in, in memory of uh, Patty Padmore. You know, when you think of a, the stereotypical prison guard, Patty Padmore didn't come to mind. She was a tough, she was a tough one when I counted on it, but she had the heart the size of a lion. She was the nicest, sweetest giving person, a real shirt off your back kind of guy. It really took me aback when she passed. I knew, I knew she'd been ailing. I knew she'd been fighting, fighting the awful sickness, but you know, by all sights she was getting better, and then a few weeks ago it just took a turn for the worse. And it was one of those things that hit you like a ton of bricks. Someone that, you know, when things are going really stressfully, really wrong, really out there, and she just pops into your office, she brightened up the whole day. And it really took it really took a lot out of me finding out about this. And you know, it was funny last, I shouldn't say it was funny, it was interesting last week we were in a, um, a committee hearing, it was uh, 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 the, uh, the committee on the, on the prison reform, and um, Mike Jimenez was talking about a dear friend of his, he didn't say the name, who he had left the bedside of, who probably wasn't going to make it through the day, and he had made special arrangements to come up and he was gonna hurry back. And of course I felt, I felt for that, I felt for that moment, but I had no idea he was talking about Patty. And I, I just wish, those, those few moments you wish you had back in your life to ask that question and to find out because I would have wanted to have talked to her, said hey one last time. She was a special person. And this world is a little, a little weakened by her loss. Thank you, Mr. Agassarian, uh, Mr. LaMalfa, and Ms. Galgiani. 